What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Evolution Everton, episode number seven, where the time has come to reveal my Foot Champs team and qualify for Foot Champs. Now, the eagle eyed amongst you will notice in the top right corner 78,000 coins. What does that mean? That means I've made some coins, and it also means I've sold Lauren Hemp. Controversial after the last episode where I signed Hemp and Chloe Kelly because they've got the whipped pass playstyle plus, which is OP. I'm not going back on that. And Lauren Hemp is good. She played 19 games for me, got a goal and six assists. Not as good as Chloe Kelly, I have to say, even though Chloe Kelly is four ratings lower than her. Chloe's got 15 more strength, is a little bit taller, has got better shooting. I'm not really sure why Hemp is 86 and Kelly's 84, but anyway, the most important thing before we reveal the team, before we buy the team, because I haven't bought it yet, is I have got a 100k pack in my objectives. So let's jump over to the objectives. I've scored 250 goals, predominantly thanks to Beto. I'll be honest with you. The guy's played 50 games for me and almost scored 100 goals. And every single one of them has been in Div Rivals. We've got a two rare gold players pack from Div Rivals Mastery. So we'll grab a hold of that. We don't care about Stadium Mastery. And if we go all the way down to finishing 250 goals, we're actually on 311. So we could have opened this last episode. I didn't notice that it was there. 100k pack to potentially pack something mad to completely redesign this team before I've even gone and bought the players. Which is why I've got the coin sitting there and I haven't gone and done it. Because if I go and pack someone that replaces... I've spent 50k on someone and then I go and pack someone even better than them. I'd be tilted because I've just lost the tax for absolutely nothing. So, no stalling today. No making his wait till the end of the episode because the end of the episode will be qualifying for foot champs, hopefully. We'll be showing you guys the team and all that good stuff. We're just jumping straight in. We're going to open the packs because this could have a huge impact on who goes into our team. This could change everything. That is Mendy, which would have been good if it was last year because Edison is untradeable, is no longer got the price ranges of like 150k minimum. EA have finally got around to fixing it. And his price is, price check, 33k. Wouldn't pay 3,000 for him, I'm going to be honest with you. The lad's got no hands. I don't know what it is. I haven't used very many goalkeepers on this game. We got quite lucky. I say lucky, we got... Well, it is lucky to pack an 88, but... We got Edison very early on this road to glory. He's not very good. I've played against Courtois a lot. He's broken. Doesn't fit in my team, though, unfortunately. I can't really comment too much on any of the other goalies. I haven't not tried them. Allison seems nuts. I've used him on Scubble the Showdown, but he wouldn't get chemistry, and he's also quite expensive. So I'm thinking maybe by Nick Pope. But we could pack him. We could pack Allison now, and then we jiggle the team around to get him onto full chemistry because he'd actually be good. It does all come down to this 100k pack. Pack odds, I cannot show you for a 100k pack. A 45k pack has got a less than 1% chance of packing a banger. May the odds ever be in our favour. What have you got for me, EA? Martinez. Oh my god. Have we just solved our goalkeeper situation with an untradeable? Maybe. I was hoping for a walkout, I'll be honest with you, from a 100k pack. However... We might have just solved our goalkeeper situation with an untradeable. Ooh, we've got an inform. TR Chiesa. Wow, this card is crazy, by the way. This thing, rapid play styles plus. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Mostly just fodder. In fact, all just fodder, really, to be honest with you. But, you know, hopefully, yeah, you're going to start dropping some SBCs that can go into our squad. It is, unfortunately, currently the... European competitions promo. Road to the knockout. So, no chance of an Everton promo card there. I don't know what's next. But, fingers crossed, whoever does the content from EA is watching Evolution Everton. And we'll be getting us some good players to go into our team. Putting some out. Getting some rule breakers. Getting some winter wild cards. Whatever the hell it is. I can't remember the order that goes in. We've got a Joe Gomez, who one of our most weak positions is right back. I feel like... Replacing Ben Godfrey with Joe Gomez as a right back is basically just like for like. In terms of, he's not a right back. He's kind of fast, but he's clunky and meant to be a centre back. So I don't think I'll be doing that. Nobody else really goes into the team. What I'm going to go and do is have a little 
play around, maybe a redesign, jiggle some players about, tweak the manager, and see if we can get Emmy Martinez in, buy the rest of the players, show you guys what I've got, and then hopefully qualify for foot champs, which in doing so will also give us more packs to open, won't it? Because you get packs for qualies. So that's great. Let's get in and let's do that. Okay, time for the team reveal. First of all, highlighting the absolute god of this squad, Evo's Beto. 50 games, all in Div Rivals, 92 goals, 27 games. We're almost in Div 5 now as well. If we win our next game, we go up to Div 5. This man is carrying hard. He is unbelievably good. Our other Everton Evo, Onana, has played one extra game because we went into a squad battles game to score the long shots from outside the box of him because it was an absolute pain doing it in Div Rivals. Really good as well. He's our defensive kind of centre mid. He's still got 12 goals and 18 assists though. Very, very nice player. His stats perhaps aren't quite to the level of an 81, but they're obviously better than what Onana's stats were anyway. So I'm happy with it. I'm glad I upgraded him. I really, really like him. The fact that he's lengthy and 6 or 4 is class. And then finally, revealing our latest Everton evolution, James Tarkovsky in the Pacey Protector is now 81 rated with... 88 strength, beautiful, 87 jumping, 6 foot 2 as well, with a shadow on him, 89 interceptions, 89 head and accuracy, 88 defensive awareness, 94 stand tackle, 96 slide tackle, 70 acceleration, and 84 sprint speed. This man is a brick wall, and I love him. He's got the power header play style and the aerial header play style as well, for getting the defensive headers away, and even front corners, which is pretty good. Now, Enough about our Evos. Let me reveal to you the rest of the team. We've got to pick up Nick Pope in goal, who has got basically all of the goalie play stars. I didn't even take notice of that. Rush out, cross claim, and footwork. Very nice. He's six foot six. He can't be worse than Edison, and he only cost me 5k. That is the logic there. At right back, we've got ourselves Ashley Lawrence. Now, you'll notice if you guys remember the team from last episode, changed quite a few players. Some of it is to get Liverpool players out. No more Andy Robertson in our first foot champs as an Everton road to glory. We've got Kate McCabe, who's on two chemistry because we need to go and pick up an Irish manager. She costs 5k. She's a little bit on the slow side, but she's got great stamina, great aggression. She uh, loves a scrap. Good defending, good dribbling, good passing. Just She's almost in the Hullet gang. She's 85 rated. We're going to put a shadow on it. I think she'll do a good job. She's the highest rated left back in the WSL, which is what we needed to get full chem for... Wrighton and Lawrence. This girl, Guru Wrighton, I have I watched her play actually for Chelsea the other day in real life and she looks really, really good. I've played against her in Div Rivals and she is impossible to get the ball off. And one of the reasons for that is she's got so many play styles. She got the rapid one, she's got the relentless one, she's got the quick step one. You can't get near her to get the ball off her. When you do, She's got the whipped pass and incisive pass play style. She's got the finesse shot one, the dead ball one, and she's relentless, so she literally never runs out of stamina. She is crazy good. So I'm really excited to try this card out. She doesn't have a play style plus, unlike Hemp. So excited to try her out. The rest of the team, I've bought Nick Pope. I've got Bernardo Silva in. We've got Madison in. We've still got Stones in. Madison's doing really good. I do need to look up a YouTube tutorial of like a crossing tactic. Just to, or a corner tactic, I should say, to get some guaranteed goals. But 19 games, 11 goals, 13 assists from centre attacking mid. Class, can't complain. Looking forward to seeing what Pope's like. I would like to have used the Martinez, but I just couldn't work out a way to get everyone onto chemistry. And I am a full chem merchant, but I could. One way was to get Tim Kale instead of Bernardo Silva, but I can't quite afford them. So maybe we'll save that for another episode and pick up our first Everton hero, which would be class. We got, we got Kale, we've got Landon Donovan. We can then move into Icons and get Wayne Rooney. Samuel Eto, Gary Lineker, I'm probably forgetting some as well, but the Eto one is dubious, but he's also insane. It's, it's looking like we got quite, we can get quite a good squad. The only Everton thing that I am potentially going to avoid is Relentless Winger. Jack Harrison's the best one you can put in it, but I don't know if I'm just wasting 50k, and I mean, I literally don't have 50k, and when I get 50k, I feel like it might be a waste of coins to spend that 50k on a road to glory, so... Let me know what you think about that down in the comment section, because that won't be happening until after foot jumps anyway. If you guys are curious about the custom tactics, there isn't really any. I basically I play like this. It's all balanced. I've turned plays in the box up one, I've turned corners and free kicks down one. And then I've told Beto to stay central and get in behind. And I've told my fullbacks to stay back. 
Other than that, it's just been football and vibes, to be honest with you. I set up some custom tactics for like this 4-3-2-1, where the 45 depth is meant to make your players actually drop in and defend, or you can set it to 71 and it makes them press. I was forgetting to turn my custom tactics on and I was battering people, and I thought, well, if it's working, don't fix it, don't change it, just carry on with no custom tactics and vibes. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We play 4-3-3-4 in-game, and this is it. It's as simple as that. I'm going to go grab an Irish manager. I'm going to sort out a couple of chem styles for some players that are probably going to stick around for a while. And let's jump in and try and qualify for foot champs. Okay then, our first game of foot champs qualifiers on the road to glory. We are playing against Kobel, Kalulu Tamori, Kimmich, Dempsey, Lippmann, and oh my god, that is a good team. Two heroes and an Evo Werner. Very nice. Here we go. May the better player win. Hopefully it's me. Oh my god, he's made a save. <laughs> That'd be 1-0 if we had Edison. Oh, it might be 1-0 anyway, because I was too busy clapping. I'm a happy clapper. There we go. There we go. We're good. We're good. That is an absolute stinker of a goal. That is a disgusting foot champs goal. But that is a very good finish by Chloe Kelly after a bit of lucky dribbling with Bernardo Silva. We are putting his tactical dribbling, technical dribbling, whatever it's called, play styles plus to use there with the R1 dribbling. And then we got a bit of cheese, let's be honest. Oh, see ya. See ya. That's 2 0. I love that new skill move. If you can get it to work properly, it's so good. Big assist for Rayton in her first game. Rayton, I, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Here we go. 3 0. Jobs are good. And goodbye. Goal for Beto. Two assists for Rayton. Lovely jubbly. Oh, we're not rage quitting. We're carrying on. We're carrying on. No worries. Okay, tactical substitutions from the lad. Maybe he's just brought on a loan, Alexia Putelas or something. We'll see. Awkward if I lose this game now after saying goodbye at 3-0. Oh, now we've rage quit. Okay. Lovely. First win in foot champs. 3-0 in 40 minutes. Class first performance. All right. I'm going to go play some more games and hopefully win the next two. And then we'll jump back in when I'm on the qualification game. Okay. Welcome back. We've played three more games. One, two, lost one. The guy we lost to was an absolute snooze fest who just passed it around the back. I mean, he was quite good at the game. He was effective at it. He beat me 1-0, but bloody hell, it was boring. And then we've played two more games and actually played really well. Scored some good goals, scored some nice tiki tack of football, ran down the line and cut it back because it's foot champs. Took a couple of hat-tricks from Beto to tick him over to 100 goals. What an absolute legend this man is. 100 goals, 27 assists in 54 games of Div Rivals and foot champs. What a man. Wrighton, Guro Wrighton, is somewhat how you're meant to pronounce it. I asked my editor, who is Norwegian. <laughs> four assists, four games. She's class. She's really, really good. I'm glad we got her instead of Lauren Hemp. The main thing that is making me struggle on this game is play styles pluses. And not because they're good, because they make my game like, <laughs> which is ridiculous. This Lawrence is really good. But when you get in a jockey situation, the game stutters when the play style plus turns on. I don't know if anyone else has had issues with it. Everyone in my Twitch chat keeps saying, turn the indicator off, Andy. I've turned it off. It still does it. I don't know why. When, Lo when Chloe Kelly or Lauren Hemp would whip across in, it'd stutter. When I sub on Erdegaard, he's unbelievable. And it makes me want to play him instead of Bernardo Silva. But every time he plays a through ball, the game stutters. It really annoys. Like this incisive pass thing is so sick. It makes his passes unbelievable. But the game stutters every time I play a through ball with him. It, oh, it winds me up. If anyone knows of how to fix it, why it does it, if there's anything I can do it, obviously I will tell EA about it. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say. It winds me up. I want to get a Hunter or a Catalyst on writing. Basically just for the pace, to be honest with you. She's ridiculous. The Rapid playstyle is really, really good. She gets like a really nice boost of pace and I think that's a quick step actually for explosive sprints. The two of them combined, she just turns fullbacks so easily. So I'm thinking get her an extra bit of pace, get her finishing up and she can start bagging some goals herself. She's already got 93 crossing, 87 vision. So I think we'll go for a hunter on her and I will actually use the chem star now because she's going to be staying on my team. She's really, really good. I really like her. If I've got one, that is. 
No. Okay, we're going to pick up a hunter. We put a catalyst on McCabe just for the pace because I couldn't be bothered buying a shadow. Works really well, to be honest with you. She's great. Enjoying using her. Lawrence's class, I would like to use Odegaard instead of Bernardo Silva, but the game stutters, so I'm just saving him for a sub where it doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, the team's looking good. Happy 100 goals to Beto. We're going to play another game. Hopefully we're going to win it again, and then we'll be quality to a foot champs. We'll open the packs, and life will be good. Here we are, then. The qualification game. We are playing against... Emi Martinez, Martinez and Martinez. Kudus, Ansu Fati, Nunez, Gabriel Jesus and Erdegaard. They've gone for the meta. I am going to evolve the best players. Evolve your support, IMO, but fair enough. <laughs> the better writing combo is so good! Uh-oh. Oh, what a save! Ref, come on, you're taking the piss, mate. I don't want to... I don't want to play advantage in my own box, you psycho. Ah, oh, I've smashed it straight at him. Damn it. All right, unfortunately, what we've encountered in this game, ladies and gentlemen, is somebody who's found one single way to score, and it's annoyingly effective. I'll be honest. Oh, that was close. It is annoyingly effective what he's found, but it's also tediously boring to play against. So what he does is passes it round the back to his fullback and it hammers a pass down the line. Tries to do a 1-2 and then just runs. Now, I appreciate the goal you've seen me score was me running down the line with writing. And then what I'm doing now is running down the line with writing. Thought he'd move his goalie and try to squeeze it near post. But we've encountered a one-dimensional warrior and hopefully we'll be able to overcome it and get qualified for foot champs. Re if anyone could tell me as well how to stop headers going over the bar, very much appreciated. <laughs> Too predictable, mate. All right, half time. I should be 3 0 up, to be honest with you, but it's through no fault of the game, no fault of this guy's player, and like that. It's completely my own fault. Terrible finishing. I've got precision finishing on, and I should be finishing the chances off, and I'm just aiming it a bit wrong or getting baited by thinking this guy's going to move the goalie. So. It's my own fault. We are still 1-0 up and we'll hopefully win the game. But if I can just... The end product, if my end product gets a little bit better, we will comfortably win this game. Oh my god, what a save. So that was actually well aimed. That was slotted bottom bins. Right, something I want to try if I can get my head on this is only tap and circle. Oh, that's well better. Okay. Oh dear, okay, so I've just been holding circle as he runs over to edit it the whole time and the balloon and over the bar and it's, again, absolutely my own fault. I'm stupid. There we go. There we go. Okay, he's finished it off. Is he subbing or is he quitting? He's quitting. Uh, understandably, through absolutely awful finishing on my part, I, I wasn't gassing myself up at half time. I have been creating loads of chances, battering this guy and messing up the precision shooting. So there we go. We are qualified for foot champs, just like that. The foot champs team has smashed it. We've done really well. If you're wondering, Andy, how on earth you qualified for foot champs when you've only got 17 points? Because we'll give some free wins away because I'm a nice guy. So let me go and make a bronze team. Let me double check that that's correct, actually. Not qualified, not qualified. Oh no, hang on. Yeah, yeah, sorry. This one is qualified, isn't it? So I need three more points. Easy. Bjork FC is getting themselves a free win. Did they need it? Not with loan to... Oh, he's got loan to here. Henry up front. Well, he's got a win, but he's wasted a loan, you silly sausage. I would encourage everyone to do this if you guys are playing champs. I've never understood the people who pretend they're going to do it and then just boot the ball out for a throw-in and pause and quit. But, you know, it's good karma. I would encourage you. Be nice to the community. Be the player you want other people to be to you, you know? Don't be the pass it around the back fella who beat me 1-0. And then message me, GG. <laughs> right, I actually have some stuff that is unassigned before we get these packs. If I go over to the store and try to go into it, it's like, you have these things. So I guess we need to find something to put a little bit of fodder into. Maybe a player pick or something like that. And then I won't show you me quitting all of the other games. I'll go quit them. We'll get the packs. We'll get the SPC. We'll finish off with a little bit of a pack opening. There we are. Three wins have been gifted. You're all very welcome. Champions finals achieved. We could give away two more free wins, but I just want me packs. So I'm generous. 
but I'm not that generous. Thank you very much. I'll take my two rare gold pack, my small prime players pack, and I'll go and choose an SBC as well. All right, so what we've gone for is an 83 plus upgrade. I'm not sure I'd advise doing this squad. You have to put an 82 rated squad into it, but I've got to get rid of six of the players anyway, so we may as well. The rest of the stuff I've put in is also untradeable. And it gets rid of the dupes, so I can get some my own assigned. I wish you could open packs whilst having an assigned. It's a bit of a, a duplicate storage, maybe? I don't really know. We've been asking for stuff like that for years, and we've never got it. This pack actually is from an objective, which we can double check if we've got any more of. I claimed it, and yes, we do. There you go. A premium gold pack is up. I couldn't open it because I had stuff chilling there. So that's good. I think it was from one of the milestones. Right, cheeky little pack opening to end the video. We'll qualify for foot champs. Imagine we go and pack an absolute worldie to throw into the team. Premium gold pack is a German center mid from Barca, Gundogan. That is good fodder. That's very good fodder. That's a cheeky little walkout. Very nice. All right. Give me some SBCs here, like some SBCs. Oh my God, that is class fodder. 86 and an 85 in a 7.5k pack. Thank you very much, EA. You'll love to see it. I need some SPCs. Like, Madison's really good. Love him. We need to get some... I mean, I could, wouldn't say not an Evan SPC. But... I don't know. What, what, what do I need? My team's pretty good. But I just need some SPCs to put my fodder into. And I really want... There's more fodder. I really want a goalkeeper Evo. Wait, was that... No, no, that wasn't even my 83 plus pack. This is my 83 plus pack. I'm not even going to say anything because I'm going to make myself look stupid. Romagnoli. Okay, it was an 83. He ignored the plus. Fine. At least he's not a dupe. Tradable packs. From Foot Champs. Otamendi. Not Otamendi. Molina. Not Molina. Montiel. Molina. No, it is Molina. Right, I'm going to stop saying players' names before they pop up, because I'm just making myself look stupid. <laughs> right, we've got to trade them on Molina, and then just a load of random stuff. That is fine. Another rare, two rare gold packs we got now. All right, 225k packs. We could maybe have played on and got two extra wins. This is Otamendi. We could have potentially gone up to the extra rank to get mega packs and stuff like that, but it is half four, and I want to stop streaming. And I'm not really that fussed, to be honest with you. So I'm here to enjoy myself, to enjoy playing the game. I'm going to force myself to play it extra, just for an extra couple of packs. Maybe other weeks. Potentially not. Anyway, last pack of the video with the Foot Champs team. Anyone going in it? Is that Rodri? Ah, uh, it's Busquets. Goodbye.